yeah. Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over like. Oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show. 1984, Ansonia High School played in a record nine consecutive championship games, winning a total of seven titles. Now, after an absence of two years, the Chargers return to postseason play under first-year head coach Jack Hunt. Ansonia is led offensively by quarterback James Lane and running back Fran Hendricks. New London High School under veteran coach Jim Unicor has compiled the spotless 10-0 regular season mark. The playing secondary in the from seeing a lot of Johnson and Smith, and uh, in doing that, I think if they contain that running attack, they're going to be in good shape today with this football game. Let's talk about the problems that the uh, New London Whalers will have uh, in the against the Ansonia offense. We know the Ansonia offense is a balanced offensive machine. They run the football with the running back Fran Hendricks. They throw the football. Lane is thrown for 24 touchdown passes. What problems does this pose for the Whalers' defense? New London has a strong secondary, and that will work to their advantage in trying to contain the passing attack, obviously, of James Lane. But Ansonia is able this year to both run and throw, and that's going to present a problem. Again, New London seeing Ansonia for the first time is going to have to feel themselves out. Uh, it's going to be an interesting football game, especially early, to see what Ansonia feels they can do in a positive uh, offensive mode. Now, let's talk about the weather conditions. Here we are. It's to be. It's the early part of December. It's uh, windy, windy conditions down here. And let's talk about the weather aspects and how that the weather aspects will affect this game. Throwing the football is going to be difficult into the wind. It's blowing straight down the center of the field so that when you're going into the wind, it's going to be much more difficult to put the ball in the air. Although James Lane throwing the ball short may not affect him as much as trying to get the ball deep down the field. But I, I don't think the field conditions, considering it's the first week of December, are really going to have that much bearing on the game. It's not that cold. The wind is a factor. But I think the kids are going to be able to play a good football game. And we've been on the playing surface, and it seems for the beginning part of December to be a fairly good playing surface. It certainly is. It's a little wet in the center of the field but the, from hash mark to uh, sidelines is pretty good. We'll be back with the opening kickoff between New London and... And momentarily will be underway. This is Ansonia's 10th trip to the CIAC Football Championships. New London's third. Ed Gilbert approaches the football. Line drives it downfield and hits it into the end zone and out of the end zone, and the Chargers will start off at their 20-yard line. Ed Gilbert drilling it through the end zone. Let's take a look at that Ansoni offense. And after this first play from scrimmage, we'll get a look at the new London Whaler defense. First and 10 for the Chargers, just underway here at Arut Field. High formation for the Chargers. That's D'Onofrio going in motion. And that is Hendricks off the left side. Hendricks slices for five yards. Stopped by linebacker James Smith. Let's take a look at that New London defense. Strength in that New London defense is in that secondary. They're nicknamed the Dogs, and they play pretty tough defense, and we'll see how they come up against this Ansonia attack. Speaking about that defense, buddy, they've only allowed 62 points on the season and only one high school, Fitch High School, has managed to score more than a TD against the New London defense. Second and five for Ansonia, just underway from here at Root Field. Again, D'Onofrio in motion. They try the right side, and it's stacked up at the line of scrimmage. That was Hendricks, the ball carrier. Stopped by Rich McAvoy. Just the powers, you see the motion man, and just quick handoff with a fullback lead. Not a great deal of room in there as the left side of that defense closed it down. Collins leading the attack along with Green and Smith getting in there, bringing up a third and five for the Chargers. So third down for Antonio, two running plays and a third and five, and a little bit of movement on that defensive line. Let's see if it's an encroachment call against Ansonia. Looks like it's going to be against New London. They jumped on the snap count. James Lane with a little bit of cadence, changing that cadence, drew the offsides, and it'll be very close to that first down. You'll see them jump into that neutral zone. There are four or five guys right there, and they violate, and an excellent job by James Lane with that cadence in bringing about the initial first down of this football game for 
He and Sonia Chargers on a big third down play. Knows that at football, just touching the 30-yard line, that's all the Chargers needed. So the Chargers have a first and 10 from their 30-yard line. Just underway in this Class S CIAC State Championship football game. Cable 10 Sports, happy to be sending the game along to you, our viewers. First and 10 for Ansoni at the 30. That's D'Onofrio in motion again. Lane back to throw on first down. Gets it out to D'Onofrio. Incompleted pass at the 35. Coverage by Jamal Johnson in the secondary. Ball was a little low, but usually in Ofrio handles it. You watch him slide. He's in motion, slides out to the flat again. A little bit low, but an Ofrio should have picked that one and handled it. Brings up a second down. Not a bad throw on the initial throw for the Chargers. Running a play that they've made famous, they're sliding into the flat with that motion. Second down for Ansonia, second and ten, just underway. Split backs for the Chargers. And the give, that's Hendricks. He is stopped in the backfield, manages to get back to the line of scrimmage. McAvoy along with Appleby on the tackle for the Whalers. Trying a draw out of this, just a sprint-type draw, and no place to go defensively. New London does a good job containing... And Hendricks was brought down right about the line of scrimmage. Well, a passing situation for the Chargers. Split backs. Third and ten. Lane back to throw. Looks to screen it. Hendricks with the football stacked up at the line of scrimmage. But we've got flags on the play. So let's await the call. Jason Appleby on the tackle for New London. New London did a good job also. Samuels hung at the defensive end position. You'll see right here. Lane drops back in the screen. Little block here by Hendricks. And a flag comes, and Hendricks picks it up. But good contain right there, 75. Appleby coming over and preventing the big gain. And the way Ansonia is changing, it's going to bring about a fourth down as Ansonia in motion, bringing up a fourth and 10. Initial series for the New London defense was outstanding as they stopped the Chargers one first down and forced Ansonia to punt here. Into the wind also. James Lane is the Ansonia punter standing inside his 20-yard line. Chargers stopped on their initial series. Lane gets the snap from center and kicks into the wind. And the ball takes an Ansonia roll into the Whalers' territory across the field at about the 43. And the New London Whalers will go on offense. And let's take a look at that offensive attack for the New London Whalers. First down for New London. Line of scrimmage is the 43. We're at a root field in Central Connecticut State University. And Sony received the opening kickoff, unable to move the football, kicked it away. That's where we are at the present time. I formation being shown. That's Todd Fine going in motion and now assuming a wingback spot on the first down. Quarterback is Lynch, gives to Jamal Johnson. Johnson breaks it in the secondary. He at could the be 40. Gone. 30-yard line, 20 far sidelines. Jamal Johnson into the end zone for the score. A flag is dropped back at the 43-yard line of New London. Let's await the call, but on the first play from scrimmage, Jamal Johnson. It's going to go against Ansoni a penalty. Johnson's just going to more pack him and slide back. He'll break outside here to the near side, far side of the field, and he's going to go all the way on an excellent, excellent first call by the New London offense. As they go, 47 yards for the initial touchdown in their first possession. And they caught Ansoni in a little bit of movement on that right defensive side of the line. And Jamal Johnson, 40, 57 yards, excuse me, for the initial touchdown of this football game. So New London has drawn first blood here at uh, Central Connecticut State University's Arut Field. Jamal Johnson, extra point attempt. It is low and blocked by the interior lineman of Ansonia. Ed Gilbert attempting the extra point. And as the teams come up field, we've got a little bit more than nine minutes remaining in this first quarter. And New London has shown us that uh, quickness we talked about in pregame. Very quick. Johnson got into the secondary, and that was one thing that Jack Hunt was concerned with. Into the secondary, and then just broke to the far side of the field. Went actually untouched into the end zone on a 50 57 yard scamper nothing spectacular about the play it was just an off tackle power or blast he got in there and broke it using his speed 
to put this London Whaler football team up 6-0 here early in this first quarter. And the new London Whalers came into this football game 10-0 overall, 8-0 in their conference, which is the Eastern Connecticut Conference. They play good football. They certainly started out on the right foot here, and it will certainly jack up that defensive unit as they come back out on the field. Gilbert again, the second kickoff. This one coming down in the field of play. Harold Bell ball fumbles the football, five-yard line. And he is going to be belted at the 11-yard line. So the Chargers, against the wind in the first quarter, down 6 to nothing, are now going to be operating again into the wind. Harold Bell will sit back. The ball hits off his chest, and then it will roll away. He'll pick the ball up, but unable to get back farther than the 11-yard line as excellent, excellent special teams containment by New London, led by number seven, Fred McMullen, who got the first hit for the New London Whalers. And we have something on the far side of the field. At the New London bench, there has been a problem. And I don't know if... And they are calling for the ambulance, and this one is a... has to be considered a serious one because they are right now administering to what looks like one of the... Back, everyone. First down for Ansonia, deep in their own territory. Hendricks slicing off the left side, but good game tackling by the New London Whalers. James Smith led the defensive charge for New London. Chargers operating deep within their own territory against this wind in the uh, first quarter of play. As you see, Jeff Billing checking in from the Ansonia play from the sideline. New London leads it by a score of six to nothing early on in this football game. James Wayne split backs on a little bit of misdirection. That's Hendricks. Hendricks crosses the 15 and gets to the 18-yard line. Fran Hendricks, Jr., running back for Ansonia. And Laverne Green from his backer position on the tackle. This is going to be a very big series for Ansonia. They have down six nothing here and they can't really afford to punt the ball into the wind right now and to give the New England or the New London Charger uh, Whaler group of players good field position. So this is a big third down call right here for the Chargers. Third and two for Antonio. Line of scrimmage is the 18. They have to get about the 21 for the first down. Hendricks again and off the right side on the slant play. And the officials indicate a first down for Ansonia. So the Chargers have picked up that first down on the ground. Line of scrimmage now, the 22-yard line. Plays being brought in by the wide receivers. 85 coming into the football game. Harold Bell checking in for Ansonia. New London leads it 6 to nothing. First quarter of play in the Class S State Championship football game. Scissors play by Ansonia. Rich McAvoy on the tackle. Inside scissors, you see Henrik sit back there and the ball is going to be handed off to him, but a good job inside by New London in containing it. They're running a little bit of a stunt in there, a little slanting in there, causing some problems in that initial block at the line of scrimmage for the Charger offensive line, and New London is doing a good job rolling defensively with their defensive scheme. Split backs for Ansonia, second and 10. Lane wants to throw on second down, swings it out. Hendricks stopped there by James Smith from his linebacker spot. James Smith did a great job getting to the outside on Fran Hendricks. A little bit of a flare pass you'll see coming out here. And watch Smith come from the inside and pick Hendricks off. Excellent team speed to get out there because he's the only guy that had a shot at Hendricks as he came down the near sideline. Antonia now has a third and seven line of scrimmage, the 25-yard line. Lane drops back, throws, has a receiver out there. Brent Harvey is tight end, Laverne Green on the tackle. He's going to be very close to that first down marker. Harvey, Harvey from the tight end position, just slide across the middle. Excellent throw by James Lane, and he picks up another first down on that catch by Brent Harvey. Going to the pass a little bit more here in this second offensive series for the Chargers as they're out across the 32, about the 33, 32, 33 yard line. We'll call it the 33 yard line. First down for Ansonia. 
two successive first downs, mixing the pass and the run. Lane again, getting good protection, throwing out and completing the pass. And out of bounds, that's Jeff Billing on the reception. Mike Gomez defending for New London. Billings would just slide from the flanker position to the outside, right at the down marker. Excellent throw, tight spiral by Lane, and Billings grabbing the football, bounces out of bounds, he picks up an extra yard. And another completion by James Lane as they're out across the 40, now to about the 44. And it's a first and 10 for Ansoni at their 44, getting that offensive uh, machine in gear. Lane under pressure, and a flag is going to be coming up here. Brent Harvey, the intended receiver, with him was Portland Hall. I believe that's going to go against New London, pass interference. Ball was overthrown a little bit. Harvey would not have gotten to the football, but he was pushed from behind. Harvey comes off the line right there in the corner of the picture. Here's the football, and the push comes there as Harvey almost made the catch going down. But it's going to be a 15-yard penalty and another first down for the Ansonia Chargers is the second series after the touchdown. They have certainly moved the football. By the way, the officials are from the Hartford board covering this particular CIAC state championship football game. And after the mark off, Ansonia now into New London territory down at the 44 yard line. Still in the first quarter. New London leads it six to nothing. High formation for Ansonia. Give inside to the fullback that's Gumas off the right side and he gets down to about the 42 yard line as he sliced off the right side straight ahead handoff off tackle to Gumas straight ahead he picks up about three and a half yards and that along with his passing attack has moved the Ansonia Chargers from their own 11 now close to the 40 yard line of the New England or the New London Whalers 450 left to go in this first quarter Second down for Ansonia after the pickup of two by Gumas. He swings it out, does uh, Lane, and that's Hendricks. And a great defensive effort by Tri-Captain Ken Pia of the New London Whalers. Number 88. Same play we just saw a moment ago. They're sliding Hendricks into the flat, and Pia comes over. A great catch by Fran Hendricks as James Lane really laid the ball in there. But Pia prevents the big game, keeping it to about a two-yard, bringing up a third and about five for and Sonia here. Third and five. Line of scrimmage to 40. D'Onofrio goes in motion. And I think he might have drawn New London offsides. 79 for New London was across the neutral zone. Nivens and he will, Lane will pick up again with that cadence. Another first down, second one where he's been able to draw New London into that neutral zone. And New London is going to take a timeout as Antonio has moved the ball from their own 11-yard line now to the 35 of the New London Whalers. And New London wants to take a timeout at this time to sort of sort things out, as it were. Antonio with that controlled offensive attack. Mixing the run and the pass, as Buddy said. They began this drive at their 11. And now the line of scrimmage is going to be inside the 35-yard line. It's going to be shy of a first down by about a yard. And the Chargers, again, going into the wind, as you see, first-year head coach Jack Hunt. Very successful first year for Jack Hunt. Longtime assistant to uh, head coaches Bill McAllister and Bob Lisi. Uh, took uh, last year off, was not a member of the coaching staff, and uh, back in coaching for the 1987 football season. Jack said he played a lot of golf. Got his handicap down. Probably took some lessons from Tommy McQueenie, who one of the better golfers in Ansonia. There you see Ramondo Stalling, defensive tackle for Ansonia, as we resume play here. Third and short, out of the wishbone goes Ansonia, and Hendricks picks it up as he slants off the right side. Stopped there, stopped there by Appleby along with Laverne Green. And this off tackle, wishbone, lead power, Gumas you see along with the other lead back just giving him a chance to get his nose forward for that big first down at the 32 yard line. And that's where Ansonia is. Bottom of your screen, that is Jeff Billing. Fake pitch out, Lane throwing downfield as a receiver out there. Brent Harvey, touchdown Ansonia. Harvey beat his man, tight end just coming down. 
and breaking to the outside on a corner route. Lane with a little fake inside the hold, got the ball up over and right into Harvey hand. You see the little scissors fake coming back. Good block right there by Hendricks and then right into the hands of Brent Harvey as he goes into the end zone on a 32-yard touchdown pass. James Lane to Brent Harvey and a 90, 89 yard drive for the Chargers to get back into this football game with a 6 6 score, 3 4, 3 40 left in this first quarter. Adam Hallett will attempt the point after, and Hallett puts Antonio ahead in this football game by a score of 7 to 6. So the Chargers on a long sustained drive, and then the touchdown play. Key to the, the drive is that James Lane threw the ball into the wind the entire drive, had no problem, and the 32-yard touchdown pass was a pretty good throw. Dropped it right into Brett Harvey's hands so that the wind probably will not play a big factor in this football game. The thing that Ansonia has to be concerned with is the ability of the New London Whalers to run the football, which they did in that first possession. Although they've only touched the ball once in one offensive play, they put six points on the board. And another thing, buddy, from Ansonia's scheme of things, uh, if they are able to control the football and go on these sustained drives, at least that will take the football. Keeps, keeps the ball out of the hands of New London. Out of New London. Which probably would be one of the things that the New London Whalers would like to do is keep the, the football out of the hands of James Lane and company. Kicking off for Ansonia will be Marty Pelotowski. Ansonia leads it 7-6. to six. New London on their first play from scrimmage. And their tailback Jamal Johnson taking it, taking it in from 57 yards out. The extra point was no good, and Ansonia's answered back with a sustained drive. Lane connecting with Harvey. Hallett converting, and Ansonia leads it. That is Johnson. The speedster on the return for New London, and he brings the football back to the 36-yard line. Jump. Let's uh, look now at that Antonio defense. Never did have a chance to uh, look at it before. Jamal Johnson and the Whalers are taking care of that. First down for New London. I formation. James Smith is the fullback. Johnson is the tailback. The quarterback is Lynch. And in motion, that's number seven, Fred McMullen. And before the play is off, we'll have an encroachment penalty coming up, this time going against Ansonia. Unusual call because the referee to this side did not call it. The referee on the far side, or the linesman on the far side did. You'll see Harvey violate the neutral zone right here, but the referee to this near side does not call it. It comes from the far side, and that's an unusual call, although I don't think it was a bad call. He certainly was across. First and five for New London at their 41-yard line. Mullen goes in motion, high formation. Lynch gives it to Johnson. Johnson stuck after a pickup of two on the play. Gumas on the initial hit for Ansonia, number 39, six foot, 200 pound senior linebacker. This is the exact same play they just ran for the touchdown, just back and watch Gumas right here. He has none of this cut back and he levels the ball carrier right at the line of scrimmage. Excellent job defensively for the Chargers. Center out over the ball, Josh Martin, one of the tri-captains of New London. Second and short for New London. Split backs. Little bit of misdirection, that's 22. Fine, Todd Fine getting stacked up by Hallahan. Good, good contain inside, it's a scissors play. Fake to the fullback, then the reverse coming back to the tailback. And Hallahan, Sean Hallahan right there for the stop for the Chargers. And they stuffed that. Todd Fine, no place to go. They stuffed that play. Under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Third and four for New London. Line of scrimmage, their 42-yard line. High formation, James Smith is the fullback, and he gets the call. And he's going to be very close. Maybe he didn't make it. The linebacker stuck it in there for Antonio McClellan. And Gumas lets await that spot. Quick trap inside to the fullback, and Gumas and McClellan are right here. They step right up. You see the tackles trying to close down inside, but Como, Angelo Como, had a piece of them, and help from the linebackers brings out the fourth and short, and New London right here has to make a decision. Jim Bonacore 
right now making the decision to go for it on this fourth and less than one. And they're going to go for it. It's right at their 45-yard line. Fourth and inches, and they have the first down. They give it to the fullback, McClellan on the tackle for Antonia, and New London has the first down. Jim Smith straight ahead for an excellent run inside Hindoff and good blocking at the point of attack. Martin and Green opening that hole, and Smith for the first down close to the 40-yard, 49-yard line. And we're under a minute to go here at a root field on the campus of Central Connecticut State University. Quarterback is Lynch. Gives it to number 22. That's Todd Klein, dragged down from behind by Ansoni after a pickup of about three on the play. Klein was only a step away from being gone on that one. Loomis along with Billing on the stop for Ansonia. Just an off-tackle power. Good kickoff blocks along the line of scrimmage. And Gumas gets a piece of him because he's gone without that. He's got great speed, and he's got that first step. Gumas able to come over and catch him from behind. Once again, the fear of the Ansonia coaching staff. They said they could not let New London get into the secondary. New London showing a great running attack as New London goes up the middle for an apparent first down for the 40. John... John Coughlin on the tackle. And that is the end of the first quarter here at a root field. And our score is Ansonia 7, New London 6. Campus of Central Connecticut State University and a root field where the site of the Class S CIAC State Championship football game. We've got a good one for you. Our Cable 10 Sports High School Football Game of the Week in the State Championship Clash. First down for New London. That's Jamal Johnson hurdling the line and getting across the 40-yard line of Ansonia. And getting up off the pile, number 87, Sean Hallahan, assisted by linebacker Dan McClellan. Base play of the offense, just a tailback, off tackle on the power with the fullback lead. And they've had good success getting in there and finding a hole. And all these backs need is a little bit of a hole. Johnson doing a great job getting in there, along with Smith, and opening up the holes, picking up positive yardage for this running attack. Second down, second and eight for New London. Line of scrimmage, the 39-yard line of Ansonia. Pitch to Johnson. Johnson trying to get outside, and he does. And he's finally stopped by D'Onofrio, comes up to make the play from the secondary. Offensive line is just locking up, and the back is just trying to pick a hole. Nobody pulls, just straight ahead blocking. See Stallings getting knocked down, and a great job on contained by D'Onofrio getting a piece of Johnson before he got all the way to the outside. Brings up a big third. New London has that great team speed. And we heard uh, the coach. Jim Bunicor from New London talk about his offense before the football game. And they have a good one. It's been a ground-oriented offense for New London. Third down. He played. Double handoff. Number 20 with the football. Mike Gomez and a fine defensive effort by the Chargers. Sean Hallahan making the defensive play. Hallahan did a great job staying home. Sean held his ground, played off the block, and then back inside to make the tackle. It's a deep reverse. Watch Hallahan right here at the top of your picture. He's going to play off the block right here, number 12, and then get back in and make the tackle. As number 20, Mike Gomez tries to get the reverse going for the first down. He comes up about a yard and a half short, and another big fourth down play from the London Whalers. And, buddy, uh, you might have seen also on our replay that uh, Kevin Lynch, the uh, quarterback, threw a block on the play. It's number 12 tried to get a piece of Hallahan. Hallahan played off him very well. So a timeout called again by New London. Just into the second quarter of play from here at Aroot Field. On the scenic campus, Central Connecticut State University. And you get a look at the New London side of the field. They are the visiting team. Antonia, the home team, it's all related to which team gets the most playoff points. And Antonia earned the right to be the home football team. And you see the Antonia cheerleaders on the near sideline, the home side. We're in the spacious press box here at a root field. And when we get back into play now, New London will have a fourth and about a yard and a half. And a line of scrimmage to 33, and the Ansonia defense will dig in and see if they can stop this potent offense 
of the New London Whalers. Jack Kern has been complaining about something to the officials now for a couple of minutes. We don't know what it is, but he certainly is concerned about something that has been happening. Our eye formation, the give for the first down. Todd Klein stopped by the backers, McClellan and Gumas. Straight ahead, dive inside, fullback lead in Parker Samuel, Martin Green, and Appleby along the front are doing a good job in knocking Aunt Sonia back off the ball. And that is another big first down, ball inside the 30, and London started this drive on their own 36, have controlled the football for about five minutes in this drive. First down for New London, line of scrimmage, the Ansonia 30-yard line. High formation. That's the give to Gomez. Gomez get, loses a tackle at the line of scrimmage, gets outside and gets inside the 25-yard no. line. And a flag is dropped on the far side of the field. It's going to be a personal foul. Very tough call. Ball is going to come outside here. And... As he's going to go to the sidelines, he fights off the tackle there from D'Onofrio and then gets to the outside, and there's where the penalty comes, and that really, I was, kid was still running, and uh, to call a penalty on that is a very poor call. He was still in bounds coming along the sidelines, and that's going to hurt him and Sonia with a big 15-yard penalty. Jack Hunt, you cannot see him in his picture, but he's almost at the hash mark on that one. Uh, That was not a late hit. So it's a personal foul against Ansonia. Line of scrimmage now, the Ansonia 12-yard line. Just into the second quarter of play. Ansonia leads it 7-6, but New London's trying to answer back and retake the lead. High formation for New London. Play action. Lynch looking to throw. Has a receiver out there. It's caught at the one-yard line. Number 88, Ken Pia. Lynch hit Pia. It's Lynch comes off to the top of your picture and just slides down near the goal line on a, an out pattern. Good throw by Lynch. Great catch. And puts New London in business about the two-yard line. First pass today for New London, a completion, Lynch to Pia. And throwing into the wind, and then Antonio gets the football, they, football back. They will have the wind at their back. Power eye for New London at the Antonia two. Inside, Smith, touchdown, New London. James Smith. Straight handoff to the fullback as he gets inside and he goes in the end zone with a great run extension and puts the London Whalers ahead now in this football game, 12 to seven, 9.45 left to go in this second quarter. And we have a big sequence coming up right now with New London ahead in this football game by a score of 12 to seven. And they're gonna be going for two points will the Whalers. New London leads it 12 to 7 early in the second quarter of play from here at the Root Field. Campus of Central Connecticut State University. Lynch pinches out. That's Jamal Johnson. And he gets into the end zone, just crosses the plane for the two points. And New London has taken a 14 to 7 lead. Jamal Johnson with a great, great run. Watch now as he starts outside. The pitch is late getting him. He sets it up inside and gets outside of Harvey and into the end zone. And that is tremendous speed. Harvey had him. He stepped around him into the end zone. A great two-point conversion by Jamal Johnson. Outstanding team speed. London Whalers. I'm thinking the New England Whalers a lot of time here. The New London Whalers. 9.45 showing on our scoreboard clock, and Jack Hunt is upset about something. He had a shot of him. For one thing, he'd be upset about the score, New London leading at 14 to 7. I think he's got to be upset that his kids are not really breaking down to make the tackle. They've had them a number of times and have not made the tackle or completed the tackle, allowing the ball carry to get extra yards or to break the big run. That was a 64-yard drive for... New London, five minutes consumed on the clock in a great, great drive, mostly on the ground. Ed Gilbert, the short kick, falling on by Mangato at the 38-yard line. Harvey Mangato just fell on the football, and Ansonia will get it at that point. New London leads it 14 to 7. 
First down for Ansoni at the 38-yard line. Chargers, single back offense. That's Gumas, D'Onofrio going in motion, passing formation. The Chargers want to put it up. Lane looking to throw under a rush and brought down in the secondary in the backfield. Back at his 29-yard line, a whole host of uh, New London Whalers led by Jason Appleby. Lane has good time here as he sets, and then he does not find his receiver, and he is nailed for the sack. Appleby getting a piece of him, bringing up a third and long now for the Chargers. Checking into the Ansonia offense, Errol Bell coming out, Chris Ahern, and Ansonia now as a second and 20. Back inside their 30-yard line. Again, D'Onofrio goes in motion. Lane looking to throw under a rush. Screens it. Hendricks with room in front of him. Hendricks fights his way across the 40-yard line. That's going to be Brett Harvey. Tight end screen. Harvey coming off the screen, doing an excellent job getting downfield, picking up a lot of that lost yardage. Harvey just sits out here and gets blocking out in front of him and is going to break a couple tackles, pick up a little bit more yardage, brings the ball across the 40 to about the 41 and a half yard line. Brett Harvey, good screen play from James Lane. So Harvey picked up about 15 yards on the play. That's D'Onofrio in motion on the second down play. Under rushes Lane, swings it out. That's D'Onofrio on the other side, catching the football at the 44. It's going to be stopped well short of the first down. And the Chargers will no doubt have to kick the football away. Jamal Johnson is going to come right up and make the tackle here as D'Onofrio gets the ball. Watch number one. Johnson with an excellent open field tackle preventing the first down and bringing that punting team on the field for the Chargers. New London in two possessions has put 14 points on the board. That is the fourth or third possession for the Chargers. They come away with only one touchdown. So New London able to convert every time they touch the football so far. Now the Chargers come up to the line of scrimmage on the fourth and four with the line of scrimmage to 45, and then Captain James Lane decides to call a timeout. This would be a tough place for the Chargers to go for it and not make it. They have the win with them. Field position, very important, especially with this football team, New London, that is able to move the football as well as they have, and I think that the punt probably will be the decision that the Chargers are going to make here unless they try and draw them on the off sides. There's J Jack Hunt giving final instructions to his quarterback, James Lane. So New London leads it by a score of 14 to seven, almost at the midpoint of the second quarter of play. Sony was forced to call a timeout. A little bit of indecision about what they were going to do. New London has uh, truly been an outstanding football team. As Buddy said, they've had two possessions. They have moved the ball. They've scored on both possessions. Well, Ansonia up to the line of scrimmage. Let's see if Lane fakes it on fourth down and tries to draw New London offside. He shifts into punt formation, and New London does not go for it. Lane will punt the football away, just gets it off. And the football will roll dead inside the 10-yard line. So with our score, New London 14, Ansonia 7, let's take this time out. There is a spirit in our country. Great country banks part of that spirit. We're proud to stand on our commitment to our community to keep the future bright for you and me. A great country, a great bank. Great country bank.
with an optional four-liter monster under its hood. Jeep Comanche doesn't just stand apart. It stands alone. Welcome back, everyone. New London backed up now to their nine-yard line, going against the wind, but they have primarily done it on the ground anyway. They have shown one fine offensive attack on the ground. Quarterback is Kevin Lynch. New London leads it by a score of 14 to 7. Give inside, that's James Smith, the big, early fullback off the right side, stopped by the linebackers, Dan McClellan, along with Greg Gumitz. Smith is getting himself four or five yards every time he touches the football straight ahead. And he's a big guy in there, and he is great, has great speed and running extremely hard inside the tackles for New London. Second down coming up for New London. Big first down carry by the New London Whalers. Inside again, that's Smith. They go again, stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Again, McClellan. And also at the bottom of that pile, number 77, Rich Montefusco now in on defense for Ansonia. Big defensive play here for Ansonia. If they can force New London to kick into the wind, they're going to come out of this with pretty good field position. New London again cracking inside with Smith that time. McClellan did a good job, and Montefusco did a good job closing it down and preventing the first down brings up a third and about three. Third down play, I formation. Single wide receiver out to the near side of the field. There's the gift to Johnson. Johnson for the first down, Jamal Johnson. Stopped finally by Sean Hallahan and uh, Dave D'Onofrio. Jamal Johnson may not get a lot of press in the New Haven area, but he is certainly a quality running back, one of the better backs that I've seen this season, and he certainly is able to get in there, getting the tough yardage straight ahead, and when he gets outside, he is going places because of that speed. First down for New London at their 22-yard line, I formation. That's Johnson. Stopped by Montefusco, but Johnson picks up three on the play. Rich Montefusco, 5'9", 195-pound senior down lineman. Picked up three on his own as he put his head down and got himself three yards. He was stopped at the line of scrimmage and got that all by himself. Again, getting that tough yardage inside, able to lower his shoulders and to get forward, making positive yardage every time he touches the football. And a pickup of three on that first down carry by Jamal Johnson. And they just have not been stopped by Ansonia all afternoon here. I formation for New London. Johnson again feeling his way at the line of scrimmage. This time stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Again, Montefusco, number 77. Brings up a third and long. First time that Ansonia's had them backed up in a third and long situation. Montefusco got inside. He's stunning a little bit and able to get a piece of Johnson before he broke the line of scrimmage. So as Buddy said, a third and long situation, something that New London has really not found themselves in thus far in the football game. Line of scrimmage, they're 25. That is it. McMullen going in motion. The pitch to Johnson with Smith in front of him, but the Ansonia defense comes up to make the, to meet the play. Again, Montefusco in the area along with tri-captain Angelo Kumo and Jeff Billings. Jeff Billings gets credit for that stop. Played off of Smith, the fullback, as he came outside and then got back into it to knock the ball carrier down and to bring up the fourth down, forcing the New, uh, New England, oh, again, the New London Whalers to punt for the first time in this football game. 325 left to go here in this half, and Ansonia should have pretty good field position with the win with one possession before the halftime. Gilbert's back inside his 15-yard line. The punter for the New London Whalers and a low line drive kick fielded by Harold Bell at the 45 of New London and spins forward to the 46 before he is stopped there by number 63 Ed Samuel along with number 88 Ken Pia so the Chargers will have some better field position to operate with now. They have the football at the 46, and we've got three minutes remaining in this second quarter of this uh, state SCIAC state championship football game. 
Lane wants to put it up on first down, throws it out. Incomplete, overthrows Ahern at midfield. And on the coverage, number 22, Todd Fine. Fine has done a good job getting into the flat and staying with that receiver. Antonio swinging the slot man or motion man into the flat and just trying to hit him. And Fine has been with him most of the day and prevented that big play for the Chargers and done an excellent job in containing that passing attack. That excellent inside rush also from Collins and Appleby, Samuels and Pia, who have done a good job in putting pressure on James Lane. Jeff Billing in at wide receiver for Ansonia. Flags are dropped and Samuel appeared to go into the neutral zone and that'll be an encroachment call coming up against New London. Samuel was past the neutral zone. He was almost ready to take the handoff on that one. As again, James Lane in that cadence able to pull that New London interior line offside for the third time today. And a big play because it brings up a second and five instead of second and 10 for the Chargers. Line of scrimmage to 49 in New London high formation for Ansonia Lane. Back to throw on second down under a rush. Eludes the rush. The pass is deflected and incomplete. Smith was after James Lane, and then the ball was batted down by number 52, Rich McElvoy. See Smith right here take a shot at him, and then the ball is going to be batted up in the air and knocked to the sidelines bringing up a third and five for the Chargers, but excellent inside rush by linebacker Jimmy Smith, a senior who has played a heck of a first half for New London in this football game. Third down for Ansoni at the 49. Again. And again, that's going to be again. an encroachment penalty against New London, and that has hurt them. Number 75, Jason Appleby into the neutral zone. That'll be an Ansonia first down. It's going to be close. I wouldn't, it is a first down. It, has to be, right, Edward? Two penalties? Five. It's got to be a week out have an investigation. You're right, but that's the fourth time. Again, Lane able to use that cadence effectively to draw the New London team into that neutral zone, and that has been a big weapon for the Chargers here in this first half. On the 44-yard line of New London, Lane back to throw on first down, swings it out to Harvey. Brent Harvey ridden out of bounds on the far side of the field inside the 35 ridden out by Todd Fine. Great hands by Brent Harvey. That was a one hand over the shoulder catch. He took it going to the far side right at the down marker. Lane just laying the ball out there. One hand knocks it back. Great reception and then driven out of bounds by Todd Fine. But another first down around the 30-yard line. The Chargers are moving. Plenty of time left in this first half. Over two minutes left in this first half. Lane looking out to the near sidelines under a rush. Has a receiver out there. Overthrows Harvey at the 25-yard line. Harvey again was out there. Ball was a little overthrown by James Lane. But the tight end for Ansonia is getting out. And they're sliding him into the flat. And he is being covered one-on-one, -on -one, and he's doing a good job of being able to get away from that coverage and showing outstanding speed because New London is covering him with a defensive back. That coverage was provided by Ed Gilbert, who's now checked in defensively for New London. Second and ten for Antoni. The line of scrimmage is the 33 of New London, winding things down here in the first half. It's been a good one. Lane, a single back, under a rush, gets it off. Brent Harvey. Harvey picking his way down the sidelines inside the 10-yard line. A flag, however, is dropped on the play. James Smith came through like a shot. How Lane got the ball off, I do not know. But he was able to find Harvey, and Harvey did a great job coming to the football as it's going to be brought back on an illegal procedure. This play, now watch, right here is Smith. He's right on Lane. He turns, throws the ball back. Now watch Harvey come to the ball and get around and there's the penalty right there and I don't know maybe it's illegal use of the hands but Harvey getting ahead with an excellent excellent you see Coughlin there and number 78 or 76 leading the blocking but it's all going to be brought back on a penalty to the Chargers so the down will be repeated to be a second down for Ansonia and the fine pickup by the Chargers inside the 10 yard line is negated Line of scrimmage now back at the 37 of New London. Harvey has certainly figured in the Ansonia passing attack here this afternoon. James Lane uh, sees something defensively. He wants to uh, the first down. They were not sure of the play. Lane did a good job in taking the timeout because they were not sure. Nofrio started out of the huddle and came back in 
They finally went to the line of scrimmage, and they were not sure of what they were doing. Lane took a timeout, but it's a costly timeout for the Chargers because the clock was stopped, and they had to waste one at this point with 2.11 to go in this half. The game has certainly lived up to its advanced billing. They said that New London could run, and they certainly have been able to run the football. They say that the Antonio Chargers can throw, and they certainly have thrown the football. Very, very excellent first half. Both teams being able to run and throw the ball and winning points on the board, and that for the fans certainly makes for an interesting first half. When we get back to play here, it, it'll be Antonio's football with second and 15 coming up. The line of scrimmage, the 37 of New London. New London leads it by a score of 14 to 7. As you see in your picture, uh, offensive coordinator Jim Delavolpe coming off the field to the near sidelines. And this New London team has impressed me thus far, buddy. Of course, we in the Southern Connecticut area do not see Eastern Connecticut football, but uh, New London had an undefeated 10 and 0 record. We know now why and down lane he's going upfield has a receiver out there it is picked off by the whalers number 20 michael gomez picks it off at the five it was intended for harold bell and gomez was step for step with bell lane sits back will throw the ball down to bell gomez there playing him man for man with an excellent interception on the five yard line and taking that threat away from the Ansonia Chargers with 1.57 left to go here in this second quarter. And the line of scrimmage now, the six yard line, that's where the Whalers have it. Under two minutes to play here in the first half. The quarterback is Kevin Lynch, the senior. Power eye formation being employed now. Lynch just touches his knee down and then he pays the penalty. One of the Chargers leveled him. That is more of a personal foul than the one they had and they're not calling that personal foul. And Sonia will take a timeout, but Lynch put his knee down and then was leveled. Looked like McClellan, who got a piece of him. You'll see Lynch just step back here, and he puts his knee down, then gets up, and maybe McClellan doesn't see him, but that, if anything, is a personal foul. That is a play at the far sideline, and early in this drive, that last touchdown drive, really wasn't a good personal foul penalty, but that one was. Antonio gets away from a bullet there. And you see and our scoreboard here at Arut Field showing you the time left and the important I think, information. I think that was either the second or third as the hairstyles in New London. We've seen that in Derby also. The open look on the side. Antonio would like to force New London to punt here and possibly get one or two offensive plays themselves. Second down coming up now for New London. They're backed up now inside their five-yard line. That's just the quarterback hands off inside to the fullback, James Smith, and the backers for Ansonia, along with Montefusco, McClellan, and Gumas, all in on the tackle for Ansonia. I'm very impressed with not only Jamal Johnson, but Jimmy Smith inside straight ahead handoff, and he will bowl ahead for a big five yards as he drags people forward on that carry. And he is a tough, tough kid inside, playing an excellent job at linebacker also for New London. About a minute to go in this first half of play. Third down for New London, third and long. Again, Smith again. He's not Still down on yet. his feet, finally, Harvey drags him down, but Mr. Smith is one determined runner. Harvey does not get him. We're going for the distance with Mr. Smith because he broke two tackles before Harvey was able to wrestle him down. Got an injured hand, Sonia player, which is gonna stop the clock. Smith inside, now watch him bang right here. He's gonna get hit right here once, twice, he breaks that, three, and then Harvey is gonna have to roll him to the ground before he almost breaks it. As you see, D'Onofrio was up there from the safety position. There was no one behind Brett Harvey. Timeout on an injury here, and it will give Ansonia a chance to at least get one or two plays off. New London, on the 15-yard line, is gonna be forced to punt the football. Looks like possibly McClellan or John Coughlin who is injured. They're looking at that left knee.
Johnny's had problems with his knees. A junior six foot, 200 pounder. Father, an outstanding football coach. Recently retired as the head football coach in Fairfield at Andrew Ward. And then when they combined the two schools at what is now called Fairfield, and he is enjoying, has enjoyed this season, being able to watch his son play football. And I imagine that Jack would certainly like to get back into coaching. He's an outstanding coach, has done a tremendous job, not only in Fairfield, but the time he spent at Amity High School. That does not look good for John Coughlin, six foot, 200 pound junior tackle for Ansonia, and now being assisted over to the sideline. Does not look good at all. We return, when we return to play right now, New London has a fourth down and about a yard. They were pinned back inside their five-yard line. And the job that Smith and Jamal Johnson have done have just been tremendous here today. They have. I tell you, I, you know, they may be going for it here. They feel that confident in their football team rather than trying to punt. They're going to go for it here with 30 seconds left. Well, they're probably going to take that penalty and then kick the football. And you see the. Well, our viewers can't see, but we can see the time moving down here, and that's just what Lynch is standing around for, waiting to knock the clock down as much as he can. There's a smart football team. Running as much time off as they can. That will prevent Ansonia. Without a timeout, they're going to have to get right on the ball as you see them now on the sidelines working on John Coughlin. Ansonia does not have a timeout. The rough fence is going to have to get on the field because the clock is going to start unless that ball is kicked out of bounds immediately. It will be spotted so that the Chargers are going to be lucky if they can get one offensive play off before the half. So New London will be punting the football away. Gilbert standing inside his five-yard line. 15 seconds left. And a rush is on. Pelotowski pouring, for, uh, pouring through and a short kick against the wind. And it goes out of bounds and the Chargers will have the that play. That will give them the possibility now of two plays since the ball stayed in. Went out of bounds, stopped the clock, and the Chargers now on the 25 will have at least one play, possibly two if they can get either out of bounds or obviously into the end zone, but never be able to get a running play off. It's going to either have to be a completion out of bounds or an incomplete pass to get two as Lane is over the football. Gomez is the lone setback under a rush as Lane throws out into the end zone as a receiver out there. It is a touchdown for Antonia. Oh, my goodness, Jeff. Billing, Jeff Billing, time has expired here in the first half, and Ansonia is now down by one, 14 to 13. And we certainly said this game has some fireworks. Lane hit Billings. Play was intercepted the last time by Gomez. This time Billings has got him beat, and James Lane gets the ball a little bit deeper. Billings makes a great catch. We're 14 13 here, and we're ready at halftime. Either we're going to go in tight or we're going to go in with a 14-13 lead, but this first half is everything you'd want a football game to be. Adam Hallett will attempt to uh, tie this football game up. The kick is up, and it is good. We're tied at halftime. And Sonia 14, New London 14. We'll be back with the halftime activities right after these messages. some running room sweeps wide to the right side and finally upended at the 25 new london operating against the wind and this is the third quarter of play jack uh, rather john coughlin outstanding two-way junior tackle for ansonia will not be able to play the second half due to a knee injury fine picks the ball up tries to get to the outside and he is swarmed under by the ansonia chargers right at the 25 yard line as new london is set to play here as we begin this second half of football for the state title in the s division First down for New London. Very successfully, they've run the football in this football game. The Chargers are going to have to plug up that uh, defense. First down carry. Jamal Johnson trying to find some running room. Stopped by Ramondo Stallings along with Greg Gumas. As we mentioned a moment ago, John Coughlin injured late in that first half. Uh, now sitting 
on the, on the sidelines out for the second half knee injury. Johnson is contained by Hallahan, then forced back inside. Gomez Stallings, everybody got a piece of him, but he still managed to get back to the line of scrimmage, getting some positive yards when it looked like he was going to be thrown for a loss. Second down, second and nine coming up for New London. We've got a temporary halt to the action here. Buddy, I journeyed down to halftime, talked to the referee here at uh, the, that's the Hartford board, and there was a referee as Larry Salafka, and there was the controversy, we might get into it later on in the second. I don't want to touch this Second one, half, it, it has to do with Chris Ahern's uh, pants. pants and where they where they come, and that was what the commotion was all about in the first half. And, and Sonia's going out of that 50 into a 40 the first time now. That's Johnson, trying to find some running room, but he's not able to do so. He, Ramondo Stalling, 6'6", 280-pound junior defensive tackle, asserts himself. And Sonia sat in the 50. You'll see, it again, an attempt to get break to the outside right here by Johnson. And he is swarmed under by Stallings first. And Sonia was unable to contain early in this football game. They've gone out of the 50 into a four look now, the even front. And first two times now they've been able to contain that running attack of the new London football team. Third down, third and nine for New London. The line of scrimmage is the 26, third quarter action. Table 10 Sports happy to be presenting this uh, state championship game. Jo Johnson again, bear hugged by Rich Montefusco. A fumble on the play, and Ansoni has come up with a loose football. Montefusco got a piece of Johnson. He tried to break back to the outside again. The ball was dropped, and it looks like Hallahan is going to get credit for the recovery. Here's Johnson running behind Smith. You see Stallings go after him, misses him, and then the hit right there by Montefusco. You'll see the ball pop loose. There it is, and rolling away from the pile, and it looks like Hallahan got on top of it. Big turnover right at the 25-yard line here, Sony football. See if the Chargers can capitalize on it. That's the 27 of New London. That is Brent Harvey in motion. The give to the second back. That is Fran Hendricks. He has been effectively stopped by the New London defense, stacked up at the line of scrimmage is Fran Hendricks by the middle guard, John Collins. Running attack did not prove, provide a great deal of yardage in that first half. There were 10 attempts for 10 runs, and again, no place for Hendricks to go as that right side closed down very well inside. Appleby and Samuel closing off that running attack of the Chargers. Split back for Antonio Lane, wants to put it up on second down, throws it out. To Fran Hendricks, near sidelines. Hendricks rumbles inside the 20-yard line and out of bounds. Ridden out of bounds by Jamal Johnson. Split backs this time. Watch Hendricks just slide into the flat as he breaks outside right there. Good throw by James Lane. Again, that one-handed catch by Ansonia. He comes down the sidelines, and he'll dive very close to that first down marker, and he does have it. Ansonia moving the football in the air. Have not done a good job in moving that ball on the ground, but Lane has picked up the slack and been able to his 11th completion in this football First game. First down, there's the pick. Hendricks off the left side. Hendricks with a little bit of daylight before he's dragged down by James Smith, an outstanding linebacker for New London. Toss out of this out of the eye formation. Gumas will lead. Watch Gumas kick on the outside. He's going to contain right here with an excellent block to the outside, and then Hendricks. Down close again to another first down around the five-yard line for the Ansonia Chargers. They have come out in this second half, gotten a turnover now, and on the five, close to going in and taking the lead in this game. Line of scrimmage is the seven-yard line, and out of the wishbone is Ansonia. Henrik stacked up at the line of scrimmage, stopped by Julio Nieves, senior defensive tackle. And the Ansonia Chargers have had some uh, readjustments on that offensive line with the loss of Coughlin. Now in at guard is Bob Berlinger playing right guard, and Angelo Kumo has swung over to play right offensive tackle with the loss of two-way standout tackle John Coughlin. Late in that first half of play. 14-14, we're knotted here. Third quarter, Ansonia in the wishbone. Lane is the quarterback. Lane, play action, throws into the end zone. It is caught for the touchdown. Brent Harvey deep in the end zone. But Harvey just slides out from his tight end position, and he made it look easy. That's a tough catch. Made it look very easy as Lane just lays the ball in there. Fake inside the hole. Harvey comes off, and then Lane drills him with the football. 
Harvey, his second touchdown of the day on a pass from James Lane, and Ansonia jumps out here 20 to 14 early in this second half of football. Adam Hallett will attempt the extra point. Ansonia has taken a 20 to 14 lead. The placement and the kick is good. 7.35 remaining in the third quarter. Ansonia 21, New London 14, back after this. University, and our site is Arut Field on this uh, State University. And Ansonia and New London locked in a fierce battle for the Class S CIAC State title. One of six title games being played this particular date in the state of Connecticut. Marty Pelotowski will kick off for Ansonia. The Chargers have just recovered a fumble to start this third quarter of play. Callahan recovered the loose ball from New London, and James Lade led his team down the field, and he threw a touchdown pass to Brent Harvey, a five-yard pass. Adam Hallett converted, and that's where we stand. Ansonia leads it 21 to 14. On the return, number 22, that is Todd Fine, tri-captain for New London. Stopped by number 12, Kevin Sharkey. Find is going to get the football, and he points as he tries to get up the center of the field. Does an excellent job in getting the ball back to the 38-yard line as New London, their second possession of the half. Down now for the first time, 21-14. And once again, New London going into the wind in this uh, second Third quarter play, a halfback option. That's Jamal Johnson with the football on Wines downfield. It is incomplete. The pass was intended for Derek Lancaster, and he is livid. Jeff Billing was on the defense for Ansonia. And Fisher was right on the call. Lancaster feels that he was interfered with as he'll come across. We do not see right there, and Lancaster's going down whether Billings was the cause of that contact or not. The official felt he was not. Brings up a second down. Attempt to throw the sweep pass with Johnson. Johnson did not really set the run up and threw the ball, though, close to the completion to. Second down, second and 10 for New London at their 38. There's the pitch. That's James Smith trying to run outside. Harvey gets them and manages to contain. And Pelotowski, along with D'Onofrio, put the clincher on James Smith, Brent Harvey made the initial play defensively. Smith went to the tailback. You see the lead by Johnson now. They switch positions, and Harvey slows him down here. Pelotowski gets a good piece of him, then gets help from D'Onofrio as they drive him out of bounds. That young man's a tough guy to bring down. Jim Smith, he's been an outstanding linebacker and also at fullback. First time he's gone to the tailback position out of that eye formation for New London. So it's a loss on the play on the sweep for New London. A third down coming up the line of scrimmage is the 34th eye formation for New London. A lot of time left in this football game. Lynch throws and completes the pass. Belotowski along with D'Onofrio, the intended receiver, and the young man who caught the ball was Derek Lancaster, junior end. Slant pass right off the line of scrimmage. Lynch just steps up, hits the slant. Lancaster does a good job getting extra yards. You see Gumas get a piece of him there, but Lancaster gets five more yards before D'Onofrio and Pelotowski bring him down. But it brings up a fourth down here. New London will be punting into the wind on their own 44-yard line. And that's the first time that Ansonia has been able to really contain them all day. They've gone to the 40, and that four look has presented a problem in the first two possessions for New London. Snap from center. Ed Gilbert gets off a fine punt into the wind, and it's going to roll dead in the vicinity of the 37-yard line. The Chargers will take over at that point. Their second, uh, second possession of the second half, Ansonia's. And Ansonia has the win at their back, buddy. I would think right now that Ansonia is going to try to utilize that win at their back. The big factor is that they will be able to punt with the win, regardless of what they're able to do offensively, and it should establish pretty good field position for them with Lane's foot and ability to get the ball down the field. But Ansonia has not been afraid to throw the football all afternoon. Lane is 11 for 16, hitting both Harvey and Billings all afternoon with Dinofrio out of the backfield, so that they are not concerned, really, I think, about the win, whether they're going into it or going against it. And a timeout is called for by James Lane, and uh, offensive coordinator, you see him in your picture, Jim Delavope, will now go out to the 
Ansonia offense. And he's bringing a helmet along with him, so someone has equipment problems. Buddy, we have an opportunity now. New London, there has been a lot of concern. Eddie brought it up about the pants, but New London has been complaining all day about equipment and Ansonia's equipment. And it has created a controversy, and it has carried over from Monday's CIAC meeting all the way through the game as Jack Hunt has been complaining about the New London attempt to create an issue over the pants being worn by the issue one, of, one of the Ansonia players. The issue revolves around Chris Ahern and apparently the pants. New London is maintaining that the pants have to come below the knee and they have claimed that Ahern's, Ahern's uniform, the pants are above the knee and that's what the primary issue was in the first half when I went out to the field and talked to the referee. Jeff, uh, rather, James Lane directs uh, Jeff Billing to the bottom of your picture, and the first down play action for Ansonia. Got him out there. Jeff Billing with the reception. Jeff Billing and the first down at the 41 of New London, and a and flag a first is dropped. Foul. That's going to be against number one, Jamal Johnson. We saw a moment ago Lancaster into the referee's face, and right here, Lane will step back. He's going to hit Billings on an out pattern, and Billings does a great job keeping those feet in bounds right there. Now, number one, you see there, is making the call. The referee is going to signal first down, and Jamal Johnson is going to make a comment that the referee did not appreciate, and is going to tack another 15 on to that great reception from Lane to Billings. Down with it, looks like a cramp, because there was no hit as he's trying to straighten it out, is Todd Fine, the senior. But it's going to tack 15 more onto this and bring the ball down around the 25-yard line for the Ansonia Chargers. A big, big play from Lane to Billings. Gomez is the individual down, and the penalty tacked on. Personal foul to Mr. Jamal Johnson, and Ansonia is in business on the 26-yard line. First and 10 for Ansonia after the pass completion from Lane to Billing. 15 yards tacked on, as Buddy mentioned. And uh, Ansonia knocking on the door again, and not afraid to throw the football. And of course, as we mentioned several occasions, they're with the win in this third quarter at windswept a root field. I formation the pitch. Hendricks, left side, cuts it back in. Fran Hendricks finally down in the secondary. A fine individual tackle by Jamal Johnson. Ansonia has made some excellent adjustments in this between the first and second half. Just a sweep now. Watch Gumas kick out right here, and inside comes Hendricks with a good burst of speed. Johnson comes up, makes an excellent tackle, but not before he picks up nine yards. And Ansonia, the running attack, not very potent in that first half, has come out in this second half for some big yardage early in this third quarter. And they're going to the short side with a little bit of a sweet pitch and letting Gumas just kick the end out and coming back inside. Second and short, Hendricks picking his way around the right side, stacked up at the line of scrimmage by Cortland Hall coming in from the secondary and maybe back to the Hendricks maybe a loss of about a foot on the play for Fran Hendricks this time they come wide again Gumas with the lead block Hendricks ducks back inside but a nice job stepping up in there by Cortland Hall a senior closing it off and bringing up a third and about a yard and Sony into the eye see what they run here a little bit of motion Don Afrio in motion Lane wants to throw on third down a flag is dropped got him the out there Incompleted pass intended for D'Onofrio, knocked down by Johnson inside the five-yard line, but hold the phone, let's await the call. Flags have been dropped. Jamal Johnson outran the football that time, but D'Onofrio was behind him, but that great speed by Johnson, able to get a hand in there, preventing the reception, but the penalty now, discussion with the referee and Brent Harvey, and we will see whether it is a motion penalty against Ansonia or... D'Onofrio may have turned up early, and that's what it's going to be. Ten D'Onofrio did turn up early, so the decision, and that's not even going to be the penalty. It's going to be a holding penalty against the Ansonia, and obviously the New London, London football team will take this big penalty and bring up a third and about 11 rather than that third and one. So the holding penalty is assessed against the Ansonia. 4.23 remaining here, and uh, in your picture... In your picture, we see Todd Givens, young man for Ansonia, he was hurt in a non-football-related injury early on in the season, rooting on his teammates. And Todd, of course, unable to play for most of this football season. 
but he is just as much a part of this team and just as much in this football game as that Ansonia 11 on the field. Long situation for Ansonia. Third and long. Lane throwing downfield. That's a receiver out there. It is picked off in the end zone. And it's a touchback. Michael Gomez and New London will get the ball at the 20 yard line. Mike Gomez was beaten at the end of the half and he was not going to be beaten this time. He sits back in the zone. Billings tries an out and up. You see the fake by the quarterback trying to drive the receiver. And Fine does a great job, or Gomez does a great job playing the football, picking up the interception and bringing the ball now out to the 20 yard line for New London, their third possession here of this third quarter. Down 21 to 14 with 4.15 left to go in the third period. Well, let's see if those defensive adjustments hold up for Ansonia as Ansonia has gone to an even front defensively. Give inside, that's the big fullback, James Smith, spinning for three yards off the right side. Dragged down by Rich Montefusco along with Dan McClellan. Straight ahead, dive inside to the fullback. He just slides off tackle. And look at him drag people ahead. Does an excellent job in getting his body is low, body low, and again hopping off the field. It looked like, is that Jack Coughlin? No, that's well, John Coughlin John is out Coughlin. of the football game. That is Dan McClellan, linebacker. Berlinger spells him now. And if McClellan is lost, that's going to be a big problem for Ansonia. McClellan, a two-way player. Marty Palatowski on the tackle on the second down carry. Again, Smith inside, just bruising ahead. Harvey gets a piece and then gets help from Palatowski. Como getting in there also, but that defensive adjustment of going to the 40, getting out of the 50, presenting another linebacker in there, as you see. Then That's working on McClellan on the sidelines, trying to get Danny back into the football that game. That looks like, and we hope it's just a cramp for Dan McClellan, because he is a valuable performer. That would seriously hurt Ansonia on the offensive line. They'd have to juggle some more. Flags are dropped on the play, a draw. Pelotowski on the tackle. Let's await this call. Most the legal procedure against New London and they will have a choice here bring up a fourth and one or bring them back another five yards it's just a little bit of a delay inside and watch again smith forward right at the yard marker very close to that first down so and sonia may choose to take that penalty as you see again on the sidelines Been working on danny mccorn in the 6 -1, 185 pound senior and they are taking some tape off his ankle which is not a good sign Football mark now inside the 20 yard line with the assessment of the five yard penalty. Let's uh, state the situation. It's now a third and 10 for New London. Two wideouts either side of the field on a passing situation. Quarterback Kevin Lynch has been reluctant to throw the football. That's an understatement. Let's see what he does on this play. Lynch rolls, throws, has a receiver out there. He was pressured by Brent Harvey. That was only the second attempt by New London to throw the football. Good pressure by Harvey here as Lynch goes to throw the ball. He's going to be pushed backwards and never gets the ball outside to Lancaster, who just ran a little turnout, one-on-one -on -one coverage out there with Denofield, but they couldn't get him the football. Brings up a fourth down here in Ansonia. Defensively in this second half has been a different football team. Back to punt the football inside his 10-yard line is Ed Gilbert. It's a snap from center, and he gets a low end over end kick coming down to Hendricks. Hendricks near sideline, 45, and knocked out of bounds at the 40 yard line of New London is Fran Hendricks. Again, Ansonia with great field position. Fran Hendricks picked up the ball on the second hop and got it down across the 50 yard line. Does a good job avoiding the initial tackle right there, and then his speed will outdistance the. New London tacklers there, and he is finally forced out of bounds right at the 41-yard line, plus 41. So the Chargers 41 yards away from the end zone, 2.15 left to go here in this third quarter, and they have really controlled this football game here in this third period. It was the kicker, Ed Gilbert, finally putting down Hendricks at that point. Line of scrimmage is 41, pitch to Hendricks. Hendricks trying to get wide, gets off tackle. A little bit of daylight for Hendricks before he's brought down again by Jamal Johnson. Great block by Gumas on the outside. And 
for a good football team. You watch that fullback. That halfback never broke stride. Hendricks never breaks stride. Watch him stay right on Gumas' keys through. As Gumas kicks out, he just cuts right back inside and gets a great, great first down yardage on that initial carry. Brought down again by Johnson, who has made up for a lot of mistakes in that secondary with his speed. And Hendricks picks up the first down on the carry. Again, Hendricks, but to the near side on the pitch. And Hendricks finds it going a little rougher, gets down to the 24. Coming up to make the meet the play first was Cortland Hall. Again, Gumas, watch him kick Hall out here, number eight. Hall will appear, and boom, kicked out by Gumas. Inside comes Hendricks for another four and a half, five yards. Laverne Green finally on the tackle for New London as you just got a quick look at the defensive huddle of New London as they dig in here late stages of the third quarter. Now Ansoni would love to punch in a score with the wind behind their back. Lane inside that's to Gumas and he is stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Laverne Green along with Rich McGuire McAvoy, James Smith, all on the tackle for New London. Trying to just slide the ball inside to Gumas in 52 right there. McAvoy did not buy that. They've been running the sweep, and McAvoy was right there to close it down. It's a third and about six and a half, seven yards for the Chargers. Well, third and seven, we'll call it, and we might get an encroachment call coming up against uh, New London. It's going to depend on how they rule Montefusco. Montefusco stepped back, but it wasn't until they violated the neutral zone, and I... I would think this is going to go against New London, although the way the New London people are clapping out there, it may go against Ansoni, and it is. Watch 77 right there, Montefusco, right next to the center, and he does not move until he violates. That's a poor call. The ball, New London did violate first, although Montefusco stepped up, and the ball is penalty is going to be against him, although New London was in the neutral zone and violated a long before he got up. Checking that revamped Ansoni offense, as you can see now, a limping Dan McClellan in at center. And we'll check that offense when we get a chance later on in the football game. Fran, Fran Hendricks goes in motion. Lane throws into the end zone. Incomplete intended for Hendricks. Step for step with Hendricks was Jamal Johnson. 19 seconds now showing on the scoreboard clock. That's the time left here in the third quarter of play from a root field on the campus of Central Connecticut State University. Just a fly pattern. You see Hendricks coming out of the backfield. He's just going to run a straight streak down the sideline, but step for step with him was Jamal Johnson. No chance of completing that pass. It was well overthrown and excellent coverage that time by Jamal Johnson. Jamal Johnson is an outstanding athlete, both offensively and defensively. He sits back in the middle of that zone, and he plays pretty much the field, comes up on the tackles, and gets back into coverage. Fourth down for Ansonia. Fourth and 12 from the 30-yard line of New London. Last play, possibly with the win for Ansonia. Over the middle, and it's caught by Brent Harvey. Touchdown, Ansonia. Oh, my goodness. Harvey slid across the field, was one-on-one -on -one in coverage, and just picked the ball right out of the sky. A great reception, then really backed his way into the end zone, stepped over a tackler for the touchdown. Lane sits back there, has excellent time. He drills the ball. Harvey right there, picks up the watch, just back up, step aside here, and into the end zone. A great, great touchdown pass. Lane to Harvey, and Ansonia, 27 to 14, with 10 seconds left to go in this third quarter, and Ansoni has owned the third quarter of this football game. Try captain Brent Harvey, 6'1", 230 pounds, senior tight end, defensive end. Ansonia, trying that all important conversion. Adam Hallett, the junior kicker, drills it. And Ansonia leads 28 to 14. And I think, buddy, Chernovitz, the fact that Ansonia scored twice with the wind at their back. I think it has to make the Antonio coaching staff happy. I think the fact that they scored twice, whether it's with the wind or without it, has made the coaching staff extremely happy. I know they went in at halftime, and they probably talked a little bit about some of the things that the London coaches had been saying about equipment and other things that had transpired in the first half. And I think they probably said to their players that it would be nice if we came out and played an inspired second half of football. Uh, they probably said it a little more emphatically than that, but uh, the Ansonia Chargers have certainly responded by coming out here early and kicking some butt, as they would say, around this field in the third quarter. And they lead 28 to 14, 10 seconds left to go. Elitowski end over end. 
Can ship down to Todd Fine inside the 20. Todd Fine. Hit and dragged down in the vicinity of the 30-yard line. Number 12, Kevin Sharkey, freshman. We're going to hear a lot about from uh, Kevin, Kevin Sharkey in the coming years for Ansonia. Fine picks the ball up, tries to get again back into the middle of the field. Does a good job getting the ball up to about 34-yard line as this period has come to an end with the Chargers out in front. Well, we play three here at a root field on the campus of Central Connecticut State University. Our score, Ansonia 28, New London 14. We did it with Cougar. We did it with Sable. Now we've done it again. Introducing the new 1988 Mercury Tracer. Smart, stylish, and complete with 68 standard features, the best of which may be its price. New Mercury Tracer. Only at your Lincoln Mercury Mercur dealer. Available at Curtis Ryan. Real estate brokers, financing, subcontractors, time. Suddenly your dream home looks more like a nightmare. The alternative? Valley Modular Homes. Modular homes are built better and in less time than conventional construction. They're available with the designs, styles, and options to suit your needs. And Valley Modular Homes can assist you in every step from the ground up. Turn your dreams into reality. Valley Modular Homes. The Connecticut School of Electronics gave me hands-on experience every day, and they helped me find a great job right after graduation. Recognized by industry as a leader in electronics education, the Connecticut School of Electronics offers an in-depth program, including computers, robotics, and communications for both men and women. The up-to-date curriculum, extensive test equipment, high placement, and many years of experience can put you on the path to success. Call the Connecticut School of Electronics at 624-2121 and get started on your future. Welcome back, everyone. The beginning of the fourth quarter of play here at the Root Field on the campus of Central Connecticut State University. The reason we're here, it's the Class S CIAC State Championship game between Ansonia's Chargers and the Whalers of New London. Ansonia playing out of the Naugatuck Valley League and New London out of the Eastern Connecticut Conference. Down into the tailback. And Greg Gumas ties up Jamal Johnson at the line of scrimmage. And, buddy, we've talk, we talked about the adjustments. Antonio certainly made them defensively. Straight ahead, and he is tied up by Gumas. Again, that 40 look. They brought in another linebacker, taking out one of the down linemen. And that four look has created some blocking problems. Their blocking scheme for New London certainly has not been able to do the job that it did in the first half. And New London really has sputtered offensively after having scored two touchdowns in their initial two possessions of the football game. Power eye formation. Ball is marked at the 33 to give it to Gomez, and he is pinned under in the backfield. Number 50, Angelo Kumo. Kumo and Hallahan were there. Kumo gets a piece of him. He'll slide outside. You see Kumo appearing in your picture, the top of your picture. He gets him, and there's Hallahan right there for extra help. But again, New London unable to pick up one man every time in that blocking scheme, and Ansonia has brought a guy clear into that sec or into that backfield almost every time. It's a different defensive football team this second half for Ansonia. Along the front for Ansonia, Harvey, Stallings, Montefusco, and Hallahan. They have done the job all afternoon. High snap from center as Lynch winds up, throws downfield. It is almost picked off that's by the, Billings. Oh, if that's offensive, they've got to buy a gun. I can't believe it. This kid was pushed. Billings was pushed from behind and then just knocked the ball down. There's no way that that could be a penalty. Watch this penalty. Watch this call now. High snap and quarterback gets the ball off. Lynch does a good job. Now watch here. There's contact. Now watch. He gets pushed from behind and goes up for, to play the ball and he gets a penalty. Guy's got to have mercy on that poor young man. No way does he commit a penalty. And that's going to be no a, way. That's going to be an automatic first down for New London. They mark it 15 yards down the field and an automatic first down. Billings had a better shot to receive that football than did the actual receiver who was climbing Billings' back to get to the ball. And Jack Cunt certainly has something to complain about on that one. 
Line of scrimmage now at the Ansonia, rather the New London 47-yard line. So pass interference against Ansonia. He gives New London new life in this fourth quarter. Referees wonder why they get yelled at. That's one of the reasons. First down for New London. Power eye formation for the Whalers. Nah, they're in the shotgun, Eddie. They're going to go throw the ball here a little. Shotgun, Lynch sitting back there, throwing Ooh, downfield he's again. Got it. Has he's a receiver got it. out there. It is tipped and broken up by D'Onofrio. D'Onofrio came back out of nowhere. 22 for New London. Todd Fine was behind everyone. Lynch gets the ball down and hangs just a second here and allows D'Onofrio to get back because he was wide open. D'Onofrio and Billings get up to knock the football down and prevent the reception. That wasn't Billings. That was 85 for Ian Sonia. Harold Bell. Harold Bell, who got back into that. So it is a second down coming up for New London. The football at their 47. They got their passer back in deep shotgun here. He's way That's back. That's why I was fooled. Shotgun right. inside his 40-yard line. Lynch pumps once. Still looking and brought down. Kevin Lynch brought down in the backfield. Inside his 40-yard line on the second down play. It'll Ball is snapped back, and Lynch has a lot of time. He's looking for a receiver. His outside man fell down as he went to release the football there. And good pressure inside, finally bringing him down. Como's going to get credit for the sack, but Antonio contained him and brought him down. Brings up a big third and about 16, 17 yards for New London. Ansonia drops Harold Bell playing center field on defense for Ansonia. 15 yards back on the third down. Again, shotgun Lynch back to throw at his 30-yard line, scanning the field. Throws for Lancaster, incomplete at midfield. A host of charges around the football led by Hallahan, along with uh, Kalatowski. Gumas all in on the play for Ansonia. Lynch moves out of the pocket to the near side. He has an open field, but has also an open receiver here. Throws the ball, unable to grab it as Lancaster, but he was popped pretty good after the throw by the interior secondary of that Ansonia football team. And they have played a super, super 14 minutes of football since the beginning of this second half. Ed Gilbert is the punter for a new London. Snap from center, and he gets the kick off. And Ansoni, I don't believe, wants to handle the football. They do there That's with the football. Fran Hendricks, and Hendricks returns the football to his 22-yard line. Stopped there by number 42, Richard Robledo from New London. It would be a mistake to let that ball roll. They're going to kick into the wind. This game is certainly not over. And... A good job by Fran Hendricks here. Fran Hendricks, as he picks the ball up, comes to the near sideline and gets the ball across the 20-yard line. And Sonia needs good field position and obviously needs to be able to move that clock along without giving up any more scores in this football game. And our spotter here today at the root field, Brad Chernovitz tells me he did a little arithmetic, but that was a 48-yard punch by Ed Gilbert. Of course, there was a return on the other end by Fran Hendricks. First down for Ansonia to go to the I formation. Let's see if they want to knock a little clock here. Fran Hendricks on the sweep to the right side, stacked up as the New London defense strung out the play, led by the omnipresent linebacker James Smith. Outside, they're running a little unbalanced line in there also as Hendricks tries to go to the long side of that unbalanced formation. Doesn't pick up any yardage. Again, Smith and Jamal Johnson are really all over that football field defensively for New London. Bob Berlinger is the center for Ansonia. Montefusco also in on offense. And a pitch to the other side. That was Hendrick stopped by Smith. The flag down, and that might be against Ansonia from the looks of where the gonna flag be a was holding dropped. Penalty. Definitely going to be a holding penalty here. Near side pitch, Canofrio on the outside. Gumas gets a piece of Smith, but Smith is able to drag Hendricks down as he goes by. And if it is a hold, it's going to put Ansonia into some deep trouble here. New London refuses it, bringing up a third down. They could have picked up an extra 10. Might not have been a bad call, but 
I don't think Anthony want to put the ball in the air and pick up that 10 yards, but I guess New London would like to get that ball back as soon as possible. They need two touchdowns here to tie this football game up. Chris Ahern checks into the Anthony offense. Line of scrimmage is the 19. Anthony has a third and long, about third and 14 for Ansonia. Fourth quarter action from here at a root field in New Britain. Brad Hendrick through the center. Finally stopped by James Smith, but the Ansonia Chargers had a little bit of breathing room as far as field position is concerned. Take Smith out of this football game, and Ansonia is going to move the ball a lot better. Watch Smith slide on the draw play, and he goes over two blockers to make this tackle, and he wrestles Hendricks down, bringing up a fourth and about six. Timeout taken here, and the Chargers now need pretty good field position, and they need James Lane to get a punt off. With our score, 28 uh, for Ansonia, 14 for New London. Like four remaining in this football game. Ansonia holds on. It's clinging to a seven-point lead. Ansonia, 28. New London, 21. Let's go right now and honor a former Valley High School football star on our high school hero salute. Cable 10 Sports proudly presents High School Hero Salute. Mike Red Adanti was an outstanding two-way performer for the Ansonia Lavender 30 years ago. This guard linebacker, a tri-captain for coach Charles Boots Jarvis in 1957, received Sporting News All-American and All-Valley Honors. Red was also named as Ansonia's most valuable player and was a starter in Connecticut's first ever All-Star Nutmeg Bowl. Mike went on to Southern Connecticut State University where he led the Owls as a co-captain under coach Jess Dow. Dante began his professional career as a teacher in the Ansonia school system and later served as the city's mayor. Mike is currently the president at his alma mater, Southern Connecticut State University. Mike Red Adanti, Cable 10 Sports, salutes you. Welcome back, everyone. And this crowd is alive. They are electrified by that run on New London and the Ansonia. Both sides now are trying to rally their football team. That play has gotten this New London football team back into this game. And Sonia leads it 28 to 21. Six minutes and four kicks left. Ed Gilbert kicking off for New London, and he kicks long and over end, coming to Harold Bell at the 10 yard line. Bell trying to find a seam. Bell near sideline, picks his way, finally driven out of bounds in the vicinity of the 35-yard line. Excellent wall set up to the near side by Ansonia as Bell set up the wall extremely well and then got to the outside, brought the ball back close to the 36, 37. Well, he stepped out. They're going to spot at the 33-yard line, but pretty good field position for the Chargers right now. And they are going to have to do something because that, that new London football team is fired up and they are not going to not going to buy that pass. They're going to sit on the run, and, and Sony is going to have to be able to throw maybe the football here to get themselves a couple first downs, oh. because this game is not over. And Sony goes to the wishbone, double tight end to Fran Hendricks off the right side, and Sony will try to knock down some clock here. Laverne Green along with James Smith on the tackle for New London. Inside handoff, Gumas leading with D'Onofrio, and Hendricks just Again, trying to get some positive yardage. Drags ahead for about three and a half yards. Bringing up a second down. But again, Ansonia, conservative. They're going to have to be here. They cannot afford a turnover. They need the field position. And then give the ball back to the one and hope their defense can hold. Second down for Ansonia. Second and five. Again, Hendricks picks his way across the 40-yard line. Stopped again by James Smith from his backer position, and New London takes a timeout. Awful early to be using your timeouts for New London. There's 5-11 left to go here, but New London chooses to use a timeout. It's third in about two, two and a half yards for Ansonia. And down on the spectators have gotten involved in their own little game down around the 35-yard line here detracting a little bit from this great football game as we have some of the fans involved in what one would call a small riot. The timeout now, and Sonia needs the first down yardage as you see them being restrained there by the security guard. A little bit of emotion getting involved here as obviously these fans are into this football game. 
That interception by Jamal Johnson turned a game that most people thought was over into what is going to be a game going down to the wire. Never mind the interception, but the fact that Jamal Johnson knew what to do with the football once he picked it off. Jamal Johnson is everything that the people have said he would be. He is an excellent running back, a great defensive player. And along with Mr. Smith, they are certainly a great one-two combination. The best that I have seen this year. Wish thrown for Ansonia. And he will not make it out of the right halfback spot. Jason Appleby on the tackle. Appleby got down submarine that and Hendricks never got back to the line of scrimmage. He was tunneled and would bring up a punting situation for New London or for the Chargers. They will punt to New London and New London will have pretty good field position. Ball spotted around the 40-yard line. James Lane back to punt. James Lane back on an all-important punt and dropping back is Jamal Johnson for New London. Lane gets off a fine punt. Rolling dead inside. Ball's going to be spotted at the 32-yard line. It hit one of the Ansonia covers, either D'Onofrio or Pelotowski, about the 32-yard line. That's going to hurt the Chargers because that ball was going to roll inside the 20-yard line. So let's see what New London does on offense, and let's see what char the Chargers Give the do ball defensively. To, to Johnson or to Smith. They've got 70 yards to go here. A lot of time, but their running attack is what it has been the strength. Throwing attack has not been that potent, and they're going to have to put the ball in the air a little bit here if they want to move it. And Ansoni has been containing that passing attack all afternoon, so we'll see what happens. Good back. That's McMullen going in motion. Back to throw is the senior quarterback, Lynch, over the middle. It is picked off by Bob Berlinger from his linebacker spot. Bob Berlinger had it in his hands. Berlinger had the football as he slid into the flat. Lynch watch Berlinger slide out now. Lynch throwing the ball and here's Berlinger right in front of the receiver and just cannot hang on to the football. Great job though in coverage by Bob Berlinger. Brings up a second and ten. And Sonia holding on here. 405 left to go in this fourth quarter. Line of scrimmage is the New London 40-yard line. Lynch back in shotgun. Deep shotgun back at the 20. Winds up. Down Wide the open. Receiver over the Wide middle. open. Number 22, Todd Fine. 20. Todd Fine waltzes into the end zone. New London is now only one point down in this football game. Todd Fine right down the center of the field. Lynch hit him. He was wide open. They were in three deep. They put four receivers into coverage. And straight down the middle is going to come Todd Fine. Lynch hits him right here. And really, there's no chance to get him. He's wide open. The fact that Antonio or D'Onofrio comes this close to making a tackle is only because of his speed. Is Number 22 for the New London Whalers, Todd Fine, on a 70-yard completion, Lynch to find stretching the defense coming out with those four backs and we are close here to a tie game the London a timeout and they've got to make a decision right here whether to risk the two-point conversion or to go for the tie I don't know if I could take it buddy Chernovitz but we have a Kansas tiebreaker in these state playoff games let's await the uh, New London decision to see what they want to do it's been all New London the last few minutes of this football game our score is Ansonia 28 New London 27. It was Lynch hitting a streaking Todd Fine over the middle all alone. And Fine just streaked down the left uh, sidelines. D'Onofrio made the gallant attempt to tackle him inside the 10, unable to do so. And the momentum is on the New London side of the football field. Goes back to the pass play. The Ansonia pass play where Jamal Johnson picked it off and went 70 yards. It has turned the momentum of this football game from a third quarter and part of the fourth quarter totally controlled by Ansonia to now the last six and a half minutes of this football game have been totally dominated by New London and they are going for the two points and they are going for the W right here. They are going for the two. Lynch calling signal. I formation. Lynch pitches to Jamal Johnson. Johnson, Johnson on the halfback. Lost option. the football. Lost the football. The Chargers still have a one-point lead on the option. New London has used two timeouts. They only have one left. As you see, a very, very happy 
ants on your crowd. They have dodged a bullet right there. Jamal Johnson on the sweet pass. The quarterback, Lynch, tried to go to the far flat. Johnson could not get the ball to him, and all the other receivers were covered. Finally, the ball was knocked out of his hand. Pitch back, and you see Lynch swinging to the outside, who was the intended receiver. Ball is stripped right there and then covered by Ansonia, and that is a big, big, obviously, defensive play. 3.50 left to go. This game is not over yet, but Ansonia certainly has dodged a big one there. Now, what do you do if you are New London? They're down. They've only got one timeout left, so the onside kick certainly, but I would kick the football with 3.50 left and force them to kick into the wind. You're not gonna you're not gonna give up field position here. It's too early. There's a lot of time left. And field position punting into the wind is gonna be easier to getting into the end zone than trying the extra or that short kick. And Gilbert and Sonia is that boy and Sonia is lucky there. The also. ball goes out of bounds at the two-yard line, and that will be a five-yard assessment against New London because there's no doubt Ansonia will not want to take the football at their own two-yard line. No, I think they certainly are not going to do that. Um, It'll be an illegal procedure call on the kickoff out of bounds. Ansonia was playing for that onside kick, and that's one of the reasons that no one got over there to cover the football. Luckily for Ansonia, that ball does go out of bounds. Let's see what happens. Back five yards. Ed Gilbert is the kicker. 3.50 remaining in this football game. And what a dandy we have had for you on our Cable 10 Sports Valley High School football game of the week. The state championship game. Division S in the state of Connecticut for 1987. 28 for Ansonia. 27 for New London. Gilbert. Line drive kick. Over the head of Bell. Bell fields it at the five. Ten yard line. Trying to oh, a five. great block. And Harold Bell runs out of bounds at the far side of the field. No block. The block thrown by Dave D'Onofrio. D'Onofrio cleaned out two New London players who were sitting there ready to wrap up Bell. That is one of the best blocks that I have ever seen. Watch Bell as he's going to break to the far side. And you're going to see D'Onofrio come in here like a shot. And he's going to clean two people right out right there, allowing Billings to get around the corner and to make another 10 yards for field position close to the 27-yard line. D'Onofrio with a great, great block. First down for Ansonia. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line. Wishbone for Ansonia. They just want to knock some clock. They'd like to hold on to the football for the remainder of this game. Fran Hendricks running out of the left half back spot off the right side, stopped by James Smith. New London is going to get the ball back with a lot of time here, unless Ansonia can put two or three first downs together. Even without the timeouts, there's still a lot of time left in this football game. Second down for Ansonia, the line of scrimmage coming up to the 30-yard line as Chris Ahern checks into the offense. Ahern goes out to the right side. Second down for Ansonia, second and six, the pitch. Hendricks, Hendricks crosses the 30 to the 33-yard line. It's gonna be shy of the first down. Stop by Laverne Green from his linebacker spot. Smith right here almost gets a piece of Hendricks. Watch him there, and Hendricks just ducks back inside to get pretty good yardage on that carry. But that Jimmy Smith has been all over that field defensively for those New London Whalers and certainly has played an outstanding game along with Jamal Johnson and really everyone out on that football field. It's been a great game. Third down for Ansonia. The line of scrimmage their own 33. They go back to the eye formation. Does Ansonia. Did not get the penalty that time. Hendricks is stopped in the backfield and they're going to have to turn the football over again to New London. Julio Nieves. A little bit of movement down here again by Appleby in your picture there. Does not violate the neutral zone. Gets back. And Sonia now with the sweep attempt outside. And good job containing by New London, preventing that first down, bringing up a big fourth down. And they've got a punt to a guy that I would not want my hands on the ball. Number one, Jamal Johnson. Lane gets the punt off. 
and it's touched at the 36-yard line, and New London has the football at their 36-yard line, and we have 136 remaining in this football game. And Coach Jack Hunt from Ansonia would want a defensive gem right now from his defensive unit. And as soon as that ball is spotted, we're going to get the clock movement. Here it goes, 135. New London is not out of the huddle. They should have been on the ball, should have been ready to spot the ball. They're going to lose 10 seconds on this initial series. First down for New London. Line of scrimmage, their 37. Their quarterback, Lynch, back to throw as a screen. It's snuffed out at the line of scrimmage. James Smith on the screen, and Sean Hallahan with the play. Sean Hallahan did a great job because he was in amongst a lot of white jerseys there who were ready to run with Mr. Smith. Second down play for New London, shotgun. Back to throw, James, rather Kevin Lynch. Lynch running the football, finally dragged down from behind, but I believe Lynch picked up the first down on the play. We're down to 50 seconds. It's going to be a first down. It stops the clock. And Sonia should get off the ball right now, allow the ball to be spotted, and the down markers to be moved because they're giving the New London football team a chance to regroup and to get a huddle. Lynch is forced out of the pocket. Does a good job getting upfield right here. And he's going to be dragged down by Harvey and Gumas, but not before he picks up a first down or close to a first down. They're going to get a measurement, but he definitely has a first down. It will stop the clock in that forcing the measurement is going to give New London a chance to get a play call and to get on the line of scrimmage. It's obviously a first down by a yard. As soon as those markers are set, they're going to start the clock. New London again should be on the ball right now. They're still in the huddle. The down markers are going to be spotted, and they're going to lose some time because the clock is running. Down the 48 seconds. First down for New London. They have it at the 49. They have completely turned around this game in the fourth quarter. Lynch from shotgun. Going for a home run here. Throwing downfield as a receiver. Down deep it is. Incomplete at the five-yard line. Todd Fine, tri-captain, and covering for Ansonia. If I could spot the number. Looks like 82. Jeff Billing. Just a straight-out fly pattern. They're just going to throw it up and try and run under it. Fine going down and Billings, excellent coverage. He is closer to the ball than Fine and just out distances it with 30 seconds left there back in business. And they've got three outside people here. They're going to throw a home run. Lynch back to throw. It's Smith. And Smith has the wisdom to go out of bounds. 24 seconds remaining. They put trips to that far side and then sent Smith out of the backfield underneath it, trying to get him the ball and let him run the sideline. Nice call, but great coverage over there by Ansonia in keeping Smith from a long game. They're inside the 50 now. They've got 48 yards to go and 24 seconds to do it. But with two backs like Smith and Jamal Johnson, if they can get him the football over the line of scrimmage, they got a shot to go. Third down, shotgun, a little bit of pressure, and he's brought down. Good sack by Hallahan. Sean Hallahan at the 45 of New London. Sean Hallahan with a big sack. 12, 10. This should be the last play of the game. If Anthony can hold, back to throw is Lynch. Lynch winds up, throws downfield. It is broken up, and no time is showing on the scoreboard. That's it. Ansonia has held on. They have defeated the Whalers of New London by a score of 28 to 27. I have not seen the referee signal the game is over yet. They are now walking off the field. And the Ansonia Chargers with a 28 to 27 win, holding on here in this fourth quarter. And there's your final score as you see the madhouse scene out there in the center of the field. Ansonia, and believe me, they were holding on at the end. They win the Class SCIAC state title, defeating the Whalers of New London by a score of 28 to 27. Back with the postgame show and the awarding of the Fitzpatrick of Ansonia Player of the Game Award right after these messages.